Hey everyone, it's Wallace. I'm here today with Slay the Spire. We're going to do a playthrough of this. This game I just got uh, recently, or just downloaded recently, I should say. I got this from the Xbox Live Game Pass, um, which has this as a free game right now. Um, so you, if you have that um, on your Xbox, uh, you can you can also get some PC games if you download the Xbox app. Um, and this is one of them, along with Into the Breach and a few other pretty good um, games. Um, so we'll kind of jump right into this. I'm by no means an expert on this game, but I've been having a lot of fun with it, and I figured I'd play it. So when you start off, you have three char you have one character, but then you get these other two pretty easily. We're going to play as the Ironclad, which is essentially a warrior here. Um, he starts off with 80 health, 99 gold. Um, he has this effect called Burning Blood, which is at the end of combat, he heals six health. Um, and then we're going to embark on this. Um, the way the game works, you start off here with this giant whale thing. You talk to it and it gives you kind of these options. So it says obtain a random card or less a common card. Enemies in your next three combats have one health. That's kind of a very short term thing. Um, obtain, lose all your gold, but obtain two random colorless cards. Um, or obtain a random boss, so I'll, you get rid of this. So I'm going to take the uncommon card. So apply two weak. Not the best card, but it's a zero cost card. Um, and that will end up being pretty good. So you see here, this is kind of level one of the dungeon. This is the boss that we're going to end up playing against. Um, and you get to choose your path here. And each of the paths have different things. You can see the legend here. Most of the things are going to be these enemies that you're going to fight. Um, but then you'll see there's some opportunities for rest up here. There's some treasures you'll see on each of the paths. There's merchants where you can, it's kind of the store. The unknowns are basically any of these. Um, so we're going to jump in right here on the kind of the side and each of them will take you through different enemies and whatnot. Now what I like about this game is that it shows you what the enemy is going to do right off the bat. So you see here they're essentially saying next turn this jaw worm is going to attack me for 11. So each turn above each enemy and those sometimes they're multiple um, they're going to show you what it's going to do. So I'm going to take 11 damage unless I do something to stop it. Um, so I don't have, and so this is a card game too. So essentially these are my cards in my hand. I've got blind here, so I'm going to drop that on him. Um, cause it drops, as you can see his attack down a little bit. He deals 25% less damage. Uh, I'm going to put up a defend. Um, and you have these, this energy here. You see I have three. Um, and then I'm going to attack it with this bash. Cause that also makes it vulnerable, which means it takes more damage the next two turns. And then it's going to attack me as it kind of showed you ahead of time so you take essentially three damage between you're shielded for five and then three kind of gets through so again he's going to attack for uh five damage here so we're going to block that with one um and then the rest we're going to use on striking um now a couple of quick things when you use defends um they disappear at the end of each turn um so if i use the second defend and went up to 10 armor it would just drop to five and then i'd lose the other five so you essentially don't want to over defend and the same here he's not going to attack next turn he's going to do a block um and use a buff um so instead i'm going to do this and then this and then it doesn't really matter because he's not going to attack anyway and again you can see here after this turn that five armor is going to drop off so he builds up his own strength this turn and my armor falls off so he's going to attack next turn, so we're going to blind him again, give him weak so his attack drops to 7. We're going to defend, um, and then we're going to bash again, because this bash is a it's a 2 cost card, but it does 8 damage plus it makes him vulnerable. And vulnerable means he takes more damage the next two turns, um, so it makes it a little bit easier to kill him. In fact, we probably could have killed him that turn had we used all of our attacks. So it's something to be careful of as well. But this is very much a game of balancing, attacking, and defending. So we're going to do two strikes here and kill him. So now that we end the, that, we get gold. And then we get to add a card. And each turn, you get three cards to choose from. Now, each of them have different costs. Um, they have different abilities. So this one, the uppercut deals 13 damage, applies one weak, applies one vulnerable. Um, so it really weakens whoever you face. The zero cost flex, you gain two strength, but then you lose that at the end of your turn. Um, and then shockwave here applies three weak and vulnerable to all enemy heroes, but it has exhaust on it. Exhaust, as you can see here, means that it's removed until the end of combat. So essentially you can only use that once per fight. So we're gonna take uppercut, which tends to be one of my favorite uh, cards. So we'll go this mystery route and see what happens this way. So now we're getting to this sort of quest. So among the stone and boulders, you notice enter his large blue statue resembling a wing. You find gold spilling from his cracks. Maybe there's more inside. 
So you can remove a card from your deck and lose seven. Um, you can gain, you can destroy and gain gold, or you can just leave. So I'm going to take the gold. I don't need to remove a card from my deck right now. Um, but certain points in the game, you may want to remove a card if you have something that's really weak, or you have something that um, is, there's some negative cards too that will damage you as you hold them. So you can see right off the bat here, man, we're going to take some damage uh, pretty badly to start. So we're going to do two defends, um, and then we're going to strike at this little one. And maybe we can take that out next turn. And you saw here, we, we lost a couple of um, health last round, but we heal up six at the end of every combat. So as long as you don't lose too much, you should be okay. All right, so we're going to apply... Hmm, do I want to do the weak? I think I want to do the weak on this little guy, because now I should be able to take him out with that. Oh no, the weak makes his attacks last, so that was kind of a waste. All right, so we'll do that, and then we'll just defend. And the kind of the system that the game has is that you, as the cards come into your hand and get used, they move into your discard pile. And then once your discard pile is, or once your um, draw pile is empty, they shuffle them and they go back into this pile. So it kind of just keeps looping back around. Um, so let's see, now he's going to attack for seven. So we're going to do two defends and a strike. And then we should be able to defend against all that. And you see here, they drop that card into your deck. So now there's this um, slime card that we can't really do anything with just sitting in our deck, which is going to make it just a pain for us later on. We're going to do a bash here. Um, and then we'll do another strike. He's going to lick, which is going to do a little bit of weakened to us. Not a big deal. We should be able to take him out this turn. Yep. We'll do two slashes there. Now, which card do we want? True get add seven block. Exhaust a random card in your hand. Uh, armaments is really great. Armaments, uh, I forgot to show it there, but gain five block. You upgrade a card in your hand for the rest of combat. Um, so that kind of gives you um, a little bit of this like bonus um, to one of these cards. So now we can buy something here. So these are all the cards you can buy. Um, you can remove a card from your deck. Um, and then down here are some potions you can pick up. And then these are um, relics, I think they're called. Uh, but basically you read here, these are like permanent things. So negate the next two curses you obtain. Well, that's not permanent, obviously. Um, at the start of each combat, apply one vulnerable to each enemy. Um, and then what is this? We know if the membership card would give us a discount, but we don't have gold for that. Hmm, I don't know if we need any of these. You can also pick up a bomb that does 3, 40 damage to all enemies after a couple of turns. Hmm, War Cry's on sale. For 25, draw one card, put the uh, card... Put a card from your hand onto the top of your draw pile exhaust. Barricade's also pretty good. Block is not removed at the start of your turn. All right, we'll take the bag of marbles. Okay. Now, um, you'll see as we go forward here, our next choice will be if we want to fight um, a stronger hero um, or enemy. Uh, and the good thing about fighting a stronger enemy is that it usually gives a much better reward. So we defend here quite a bit. Um, and so you end up usually with one more of these if you defeat them, but they're much more difficult to defeat than the regular enemies. So it's really kind of a, a back and forth of, can you afford to do that? And in this case, I think we can. All uh, right, do eight damage and kill him. Um, ch -ch 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 -ch. Attack him, hopefully finish this up pretty soon. weakened a little bit. Alright, let's uppercut him. And then we got, this is a potion here, so discard any number of cards, then draw that many, so you kind of like, rotate through your hand pretty quickly. Clothesline, apply 12, 12 damage, apply 2 weak, true grit, blood for blood. I'm gonna take blood for blood. Blood for blood basically does quite a bit of damage, and it goes, that dam damage amount goes 
um, down, and the more damage the the, ca the cast amount is less, the more damage you've taken. Now the camp is good because you can rest, you can upgrade cards and stuff, but I think I want to face the elite first uh, because I'm at full health right now. Uh, these little artifacts are a little bit annoying. So we're going to weaken this, we're going to bash him. Uh, we'll defend. So these guys create two cards that just sort of go into your deck. So basically you end up drawing a lot of cards that you can't do anything with. They just are sort of filler cards, but it makes it very difficult to defeat them just because you end up with like a lot of cards that can't do much. Okay. Let's see. 50% more damage would be 9. Still not enough to kill him, so we'll just go with the defend for right now. Another 66. We're still in good shape, though. Armaments is good, but I don't know that I want to upgrade any of these cards. Well, why don't we upgrade... Uh, block. So now we can get a little bit more of that, and then deal some damage there. We've almost got this one killed up front here. More Daze cards, a little bit of damage that we block all of. And you can see here we end up with a lot of these in our hand, so we can't really do a whole lot with that. Um, Alright, well I gotta take this out, and then we're gonna blind this guy so he does less damage and defend. Alright. We're gonna hit this a few times, but we can't do anything else because we have two dazed in hand. So unfortunately we take all nine of that damage. But we're almost down to the last one here. So we'll take him out and then oh, we don't have enough for the defend, unfortunately. Alright, we're gonna bash him and then strike him, because he's not gonna attack this turn. Hmm. Alright, blood for blood, and we got him. Dreamcatcher, so whenever you rest, you may add a card to your deck. Alright, Twin Strike deals 5 damage twice. Heavy Blade deals 14 damage, strikes the fastest card 3 times. Clothesline, um, we'll take Twin Strikes. And then we're probably going to, let's see, rest here, because we're going to gain another card when we do that. Take another armaments. Now this guy steals your gold. That's annoying, right? So we're gonna upgrade. We're just gonna defend this turn. Blind him. We're gonna upgrade Bash here. Fortunately, we don't have any uh, any way to really stop this. And we had to take him out pretty quickly because he actually will try to run away if you don't take him out quickly enough. So we'll see if we can. Um, Hopefully take him out this turn. Because you see here, he's going to try to run for the hills. There we go. Get our gold back. Exhaust one card, draw two. Gain two strength. Suit sword boomerang. Deal three damages three times. We'll do that one. Oh, we're going to take this treasure here. So we get more potion slots with that. So now we're going to upgrade, and we're going to upgrade the armaments card. 
and that will make it so that every card in our hand gets upgraded um, when we play it, which is pretty pretty awesome. We only have 133 gold, so I don't know that going to the store is going to be all that helpful because we won't be able to buy much. The cleric, are you interested in my services? For 35 gold, you will heal. I don't need that. I don't need a card removed, so we're just going to leave. Um, we'll go this way. So if we eat them, we get healed, but then if transformed or removed from your deck, lose. Uh, I don't want to do that. I would rather fight them. I don't need the healing. All right, we're going to blind one of them. We're going to defend. And turn. We're going to take a little bit of damage here. Upgrade everything in our hand. Uppercut that one so it's dead. And these two are going to buff up, it looks like. Hmm. Defend a little bit. Use that. Attack with that. And we wait. Pretty powerful attacks these things have. I'm gonna arm it up one of these so that we can kill this. And we only have to worry about this 13 damage that we can block. Alright, uppercut him and then strike him, and we got him. All right, old mushroom. When vulnerable, take 25 damage rather than 50. So that's good. So that reduces um, our vulnerability essentially. We get a poison potion. Um, I'm actually not going to take any of those. I don't think I need any of those in my deck right now. And you don't need to. It sometimes makes more sense to not take um, cards if they're not very good or not super helpful to you. We're going to upgrade our uppercut here so that it does more damage um, or does more uh, vulnerable and whatnot as well. Vulnerable and weak. we got a treasure chest here. Blood vial. At the start of each combat, heal two. Hey, that's pretty good. So we get six healing on, at the end of every turn and then two at the start of every other. We're going to upgrade again. What do we want to upgrade now? I'm thinking maybe this other armaments. This vulnerable. That bash gets pretty powerful. This does a lot more damage. This does four more damage, which isn't super great. Apply two weak to all enemies. Yeah, we'll do that. Here we go, our first boss facing a hexaghost. Whatever the heck that is. Alright. And do six times six damage. So we're going to take quite a bit of damage this uh, this upcoming turn. So we're going to uppercut him. Yeah, we took quite a bit of damage. And that's kind of what you have to expect against these um, heroes. We're going to do these because they're all for free. I should have done the vulnerable first, though. Remember that for next time. And no shields for us, unfortunately, so we take a burn there. Alright, we're going to pick up a block here. And then we'll uppercut him. Gain some armor and upgrade all these. 
do a lot of damage with this and this and then defend. We've got him down to less than half of his health, which is good. But we're going to take damage each time one of these ones pops up. So we're going to shield up here. I can't remember if the burn goes through. No, it doesn't go through the armor, which is good. Shield up here. And strike. Oof. Luckily our shield uh, holds up there. Gonna upgrade these again. Unfortunately, again, no no uh, defense there in our hands. So we're gonna have to take this damage. Uppercut, and then we're gonna defend. Quite a bit of fire there. Alright, we're gonna blind him. Uppercut him. Do this. And then this. And luckily, at the end of a boss, our health actually goes back up to full. So now we get kind of a sick card here. So, barricade block is not removed at the start of your turn, so you can basically keep your block forever. Friendly Fiend, exhaust all the cards in your does 7 damage for each exhausted card. I don't, I don't really have many of those, and then whenever a card is exhausted, draw one card. These both are really good, um, Barricade and Dark Embrace. Whenever a card is exhausted, draw one card. I think we're going to take Barricade, though. Choose a Relic. So you gain an energy at the start of your turn, but you can't rest anymore. Gain energy at the start of your turn. All enemies start with one strength, though. Uh, well, that's not great. Pawn pickup, remove two cards from your deck. Um, I think I'd rather have them have strength. I need the energy, and I need to be able to rest, I feel like. Now we got to plow through the second city here, so let's see how this goes. All right. Gonna uppercut this bad boy, and then twin strike him. And when you attack these guys um, for three times, they sort of fall out of the sky and get stunned. So that's really great. So that way we we're not gonna take any damage this turn because they're just gonna um, improve their attack. Weaken them all. Need to defend, because we're going to take some damage this turn. Kill off that guy. And then we'll bash this guy in the front. A lot of little attacks there from these guys. Just like a bird would. Armament up. We'll defend. So they're going to do 10, 20 damage. So we'll use all of those and then swing at this guy. Block all of these, which is nice. Let's see what we draw now. So we're going to upgrade barricade here. We'll weaken them. Defend. That's good. Just enough to block those attacks. So we're going to do 8. 16 should be enough. And then 18 plus 6 is going to be 24. Not enough to take out this guy in the back, so we will keep hitting this guy in the front. Alright, 
double sword boomerang to start here. Ugh, I should have used the uh, more powerful one, I guess. He's gonna chop us up a bit. Wind strike. We're gonna keep swinging at him, I feel like. No, we're gonna take this guy out now because now we have him stunned for a turn. So we won't take any damage. Sword boomerang, I'm dead. Shrug it off. This is a pretty great heal. And it's already upgraded for us, which is awesome. Let's see what we got here. Obtain a relic. Alright. Um, I think we did that without picking up the curse. Since it only has a 50% chance. So we got, whenever you enter a rest site, start the next combat with two more energy. That seems pretty great. I think I want to go down this middle path and not this path of just all enemies. An abandoned temple, you find a giant book open riddled with cryptic writings. Begins to shift into a morph into a right. Well, I guess we should read it, right? Seems to be an ancient name. Meow, this piques your interest, but you have a general feeling of malaise. I feel compelled to read more, but your party begins to ache. Oh. Well, I might as well take the book. I've already taken, like,. At the end of your turn, you may shuffle one to three random cards into your draw pile. Uh, yeah, I don't think I want that, though. That's not super helpful to have a bunch of weird-ass cards that you're not expecting to be in your deck. Upgrade all strikes and defense or remove a card. Well, we'll do this. So all these are now upgraded, which is great. All right, blind him, defend, defend, twin strike, strike. He's got a nice uh, little plated armor there, so he gains 13 block every turn, which is a little bit annoying. And now I don't have any sort of, uh, well, this is a block, so we'll do that. Uppercut him. Sword boomerang him. And you see here, luckily, um, it reduces. So basically, the way this armor works is the more damage you do to him while the armor is down, the less armor he gets the next turn, which is nice. Okay, so upgrade these. We're going to defend so that we don't take any damage. We're going to bash him. All right, barricade. We're gonna shrug it off so that we have some shield. We're gonna weaken him. That should be it. Eight damage, so we gotta find a way to stop eight damage. So we're gonna upgrade this. That's 11. I'll do that, because that's a pretty good amount of damage on him. We're going to be able to block all that, which is good. This turn he's going to attack for 14, so we need to try to kill him, I think. So uppercut him. Yeah, that does it. We're almost at a full potion, so what i like to try to do... Gain 13 block. Uh, yeah, we'll take the ghostly armor. Um, let's smith. I, I know we're kind of low on health, but I think I'd rather get this barricade upgraded. So it's two cost every time. Oh boy. Um, yeah, let's go through the middle. I'd love to face this guy and get another relic, but choose one of 20 cards to act for your deck or take a, a nap. I'm going to pick a card, I guess. Oh, lots of cards. 
And let's see, Metallicize is decent. That gives you a, a shield basically every turn. Sword Boomerang, we already have one of those. Can only be played in Fan I don't want that. Headbutt. Headbutt's pretty good too. We have Armaments, Feel No Pain. I think we'll take Second Wind. Exhaust all non current but I think, uh, yeah, we're going to take Feel No Pain. So Feel No Pain is good because basically each turn that you, um, yeah, I'm going to upgrade this. So basically as you get those cards um, that disappear, so the, um, like when we were facing those weird things that kept dropping cards into your hand, basically each time those disappear, you gain armor. So that ends up becoming like a positive. Whenever you add an attack into your deck, upgrade it. Okay. I really love these. Like, they did such a good job with coming out with like really unique ones that every playthrough is really kind of different. Spare some coin. Offer gold. No, I don't want to do that. <laughs> we do have some money, so I think we'll go to the store this time. Let's see here. Every time you play three attacks a turn, gain one dexterity. Dexterity includes block. Um, that's okay, but like one dexterity, if you're already playing three attacks, what are the odds you're going to be able to, to play another card to block? Every tenth attack you play deals double damage. That's interesting. The effect of your X-Cross... I don't have any X-Cross cards, unfortunately. Hand of Greed. If this kills an enemy, gain impatience. If you have no attack... Fire headbutt. I think I'm gonna take this. I mean, every tenth attack does double damage. Can't be bad. It counts for you, I guess. Oh boy. What do you say? Um. At the start of each combat with three. Start each combat with three strength. At the end of your first turn, lose three strength. So you, I just start off stronger, which kind of negates the other this other one over here that gives them um, plus one. No, oh, I'm not going to get whenever you enter a shop, gain health. I don't have enough for that. Every three turns, gain energy. That's kind of neat. Whenever you that's I, that reminds me of um, like plants versus zombies, like how you get um, the sun from them. Whenever you would deal four or less unblocked damage, increase it to five. I'll take that. That seems pretty good. Because especially some of my lower, you know, especially when you have stuff that, like, gets partially blocked and whatnot, it just seems better, like, to have all those bumped up or any of the things that do, like, little bits of damage are going to be better. Okay, so... We'll do feel no pain. Armaments here. Defend, defend, and then this is like what I'm talking about is these are all going to go up to five damage, which is good. Perfect. Got him down. 23, okay, we'll put up both of these and then... Just do what we can to stop that. All right, we're gonna barricade. Ghostly armor, shrug it off. Yeah, because we get to keep, well, the one extra shield that we'll have at the end of that. Uppercut him so he does less damage. Blind him. Guess we gotta do that to just take a little bit less damage. We, we're gonna use the armor from it, but nothing could be upgraded in our hand. Hmm. Blind him. Shrug it off. We're gonna defend. Go 
mostly armor. Upgrade the, all these cards. Bash his head in. All right. Um, I'm gonna do eight. So throw one of these. And do this, and then we'll hit him with that. Yeah, we'll take Thunderclap. Thunderclap, I think, will be helpful. And I think we may have to rest here, because we're at... F I, I want to have a little bit more health going into this final fight. Oh yeah, we get a card. Perfected Strike deals 6 damage, deals 3 additional damage for all cards containing Strike. I have quite a few of those. Deal 2 damage, that's upgraded to 5. But it's only you can only use it once. I guess we'll take that. Alright. All right, um, I'm take this, I'm gonna add a little bit of a block here, defend, twin strike him, strike him, used all of our cards. A little, some minions here. Okay. I'm guessing I need to take out these minions. So, yeah, we'll do that for now. What the heck was that? Oh, so he's stealing my cards. That's great. That's just what I want. All right, we're gonna shrug it off to get our defend up. And we're gonna swing at this guy. Need our armor. Feel no pain. Till 27 damage. That's pretty good. But I think I need to take him out instead. Blind them. Still gonna take a little bit of damage from that. All right, let's see what we got here. So n they're not going to attack this turn. So I think we need to just beat up on this uh, little guy over here. Yeah, that's probably best because I get that card back. Now he's going to be super powerful. <sighs> All right, we're going to blind him. Armaments to get our defend up as much as we can. We're going to uppercut him. That's all we can do. Yeah, that's not great. Alright, let's take a quick look at these. So, discard any number of cards. Poison. Alright, let's throw this poison at him. Apply three weak. Gain two dexterity. We're going to drink that because that will give us more shield. Um... Yeah, we're going to throw kind of everything at him for now. All right, shrug it off. Armor up. We're going to take that. Hit him with this. And well, he's not he's stunned this turn, right? So he's not going to take... He's not going to attack us, but getting our armor up to 28 is going to be helpful. Because we know coming up, he's going to end up hitting us with some different stuff. That will do a lot of damage, so we need to try to defend as keep as our armor as high as we can. Hmm. Twelve times two isn't too bad. This is better to do this, I think, and just armor up as much as possible. We're 
just gonna keep building up our armor base here, because I know he's gonna hit us with something big again. 43, there we go. Shrug it off. We get our armor up to 76, which is a good place, I feel like. And we know that this next attack is going to do bonus damage. Ah, oh, so close. Bash his head in. Well, he doesn't have a head. Yeah, it's our first time. This is the first time I've actually beaten this uh, this round. We're gonna take Reaper here. Reaper here is like a sick, um, basically group heal. Um, everybody that you hit, you heal. For every five cards in your deck, heal three health points whenever you enter rest site. That's kind of cool. You no longer see enemy intents. I don't want that. Elites drop an additional relic whenever defeated. Oh, that's. Oh, this is super tough. Yeah, we'll take the Black Star, because I feel like having more of these relics is going to be a, a positive for us. Act 3. Alright, we're going to start right here. Let's see what we can do. Get our barricade going. Armaments. Blind, and then we'll defend. I feel like we have a pretty good combination of stuff going right now, which is, which is really nice. Like to have the armor going like this, uh, ghostly armor. It makes it so that it really is going to be difficult for an enemy hero to, to do enough damage to get through our armor. Thunderclap him. Do this. But you see, even now, like, I'm going to take two. I'm going to end up losing all my armor here because I didn't get any sort of uh, defense or armor cards. So we're going to shrug it off. Do this. Defend. Get him down to about half his health. And I'm going to have to take some damage here, because I don't have any way to, again, defend. It's okay, it's not too, too much. Uh, 14 damage twice, that's what we want. Anger is good. Anger is like a free attack, basically up this way. Alright. Obtain a rare relic. Upgrade all cards, but you can't heal. That's not going to be good. I'm rich. Okay. We're going to fight another boss. I feel like I can take on a level 1 boss. Punch him in the face. Blind him. Thunderclap. And boomerang. I've almost got him down to half, so at half, this guy splits in half. Yeah, he's probably going to split right now into two 60s. Okay. This one's going to attack. Defend. I'm going to try to take him out as quickly as we can. Take the armor. Got him. Uh, do this.
we'll strike, and then we'll just shield up. Bunch of slime in my deck. Splits into two. Six health. I'll just Reaper them. And thunderclap them. And that's it. Now what do we get? Uh, an unceasing top. Whenever you have no cards in your hand, draw a card. Okay. I'll take another uppercut. I feel like that probably is the best option. What do these guys do? Lifelinks. You gotta, like, kill them all at the same time, I'm guessing. Wish I had more defense, but I don't. Me down to, like, half my health. Okay. I'm gonna strike this guy in the back. I'm just trying to get them all down to like fairly low health, because I mean, according to the way that this works, if other enemies are still alive, revives in two turns at fifty percent health. So you need to kind of take them all out at basically the same time. Thunderclap them. Right, we're gonna. Alright, so we're gonna anger. Uppercut him. Kill him. Hey, there we go. It's a nice heal potion. Twin strike. Pummel strike? I'll take the pummel strike. Doesn't do a lot of damage, but you can draw two cards. This guy's a transient. He does a lot of damage. Okay. Uppercut him so he does a little bit less damage. That's all we can do, though, with these cards. Thunderclap him. Armaments. He's got a lot of health. 999 health. Oh, he dies in three turns. That's interesting. I gotta get this armor up pretty quick, huh? Dies this turn. Do I want to head up here to this guy? I think I need to get to the rest point, unfortunately. Okay, I killed that one guy who was actually going to do some damage to us.
Hmm. Barricade, be good. He's got thorns. Thorns like do damage every time you hit him. So that's kind of an annoying. Oh, that's not good at all. I need my Reaper. Take out that guy at least. Get rid of some of these D's. And luckily, see, each time they get rid of them, that gives me some armor, which just helps me survive a little bit longer versus this dude. Blind him. Thunderclap him. Alright. It's my Reaper a little bit late, but... armor up before we do anything. Uh, I don't think I need any of those cards. We're gonna heal up here. Just our health back up. Headbutt. Headbutt's actually good because it lets you pick a card to pull back into your hand for the next turn. Restricted. Went right through all my armor, unfortunately. Blind him. Pommel strike. I'm just gonna do all the defense for now. My next attack does a lot of damage. So we're gonna do that. Double your strength. Um, we'll do that. Alright, let's see if we can take this guy out. This is gonna be a tough fight, I think. Uppercut him. Well, that doesn't seem good that he's counting down. Barricade going. Defend armaments. What card do I need? Um, hmm. We're going to take the ghostly armor. Oh, 
Oh, we're down to five health. This is not good. And we have no way to block anything, unfortunately. So I think that's going to be it for this run. He's going to whack us pretty good right here. Bye. <laughs> so all in all, a pretty good run through, my furthest run through in the game so far. Hopefully you enjoyed that. It took us about an hour of time. Um, so hopefully you enjoyed it watching. Um, and yeah, if you'd like to see more Slay, uh, Slay the Spire, please uh, subscribe to the channel. Leave me a like. Leave a comment if it's something that you really enjoyed watching. And thanks so much. Have a good one.